In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018, we're going to take a look at how to use the lighting effect. Now this is a supplemental tutorial. We have another one on using it for a spotlight. Here we'll use it for a directional light or what's called an omni light as well. And we'll show you a little bit about multiple lights. I have a clip on the screen. It has this young woman on the couch with her tablet. Let's assume we want to change the lighting of it a little bit. The way you do that is you highlight the clip and then you click in the action bar on the right by FX. It opens your panel of effects and under advanced adjustments we're going to choose lighting effects, drag it and drop it to our track. And as we saw in our other tutorial the default is to go to a spotlight and to change the ambience intensity down to 20%. Normal is 50% and you can return it to normal by moving the slider if you want to. What we're also going to do is change the light. Now the default is that lights 2 through 5 are inactive. We could turn them on. We'll show you how to later. But light 1 defaults to this spotlight that you see on the screen. We're going to, instead of using the spotlight, since we covered that in another tutorial, click down here and click on the, one of the other two options. Well, let's take the directional light. When we click on the directional light, it basically illumines every pixel in the entire uh, project in this section of the clip. You have three options. You can control the radius, the angle, and the intensity. You also can control the center. But what I tend to find when I uh, work with this tool is I can barely tell the difference in some of these features. If I change the radius, it kind of it washes out when I move it left, and it's a little better when I move it to the right, a little more defined. But when I move the intensity, I get, I get the opposite. It darkens on the left, and then it washes out to the right. But exactly how these two are different, it's hard for me to tell. And uh, if, if you've got that figured out, let me know. But I am not too sure how to balance these two. If you want to set it back to default anytime, you can do the reset and go back from spotlight to directional. But this is kind of what we're working with in, in this option. You can change the angle, but when I start to move the slider, I can't perceive a lot of difference in this particular option. So I doubt if I'll use the directional light very much. Let's reset it again and we'll go from Spotlight to Omni Light. This is one you probably will use. The Omni Light is basically a circular light. You can control the radius and intensity, the color, and the location. For example, here if I want to highlight the tablet more, I might move the light to the right, take the X position, and move it a little bit to the right. Now it's hard sometimes to see the light, so what I like to do, I like to take my major radius and just temporarily dial it back from 20 to something much smaller. And now I can kind of see the center of my light. So if I want to move it around, now I can see the location a little bit easier. And if I want the center to be there, and maybe we'll move it on the Y coordinate, maybe down a little bit too. Just drag across the numbers. Again, uh, Premiere has a lot better way of handling this. And now I can move the radius back up a little bit brighter. And I can either change the intensity up with this, or I can go back down. But now the focus is a little more in this area. You see it on her jeans, you see it on her hand a little bit more, and on the tablet. That's all post-production. Now what I encourage people to do is when you're going to use these lighting features, you keep it subtle. Otherwise, the attention will be on the light and not on your subject the way you want it to. Light is used to draw attention to certain parts of your video or still image or to draw attention away from another part. Now, one of the things you may have to wrestle with when you begin to do this is if you're working with a video clip, the light in one location will not work in another. Let's go back to the beginning of the clip and you see where the light is now. If I go ahead and play this, it's not always in the location where I want it. 
Now, there's only a little bit of small movement in this particular clip, so it's not too bad. But if there were more, I'd have to adjust for that. And the way you do that is you have to keyframe it. We'll have an exercise where we show you a little bit more about that. But let me show you one other thing. We looked at the directional light, which I wouldn't use much. And in this tutorial, the Omni light. Let's try more than one light. Okay, let's go light number two. The default is none. Let's go with another Omni light. And again, it starts larger and in the center. So I'm going to take this, this light here. Looks like it's right about here. And we'll move it to the left a little bit. Then we'll move it up a little bit. And notice we're lighting her face. Now right now, I just used a little bit of light. Pretty subtle. If I make it much bigger, it starts to... Well, that's not too bad either, is it? Okay. Another thing you can do, so that's two lights. So now I've, I've got a little bit of light going here, a little bit of light on her face. The other thing you can do if you want, want to stop some of this from glowing quite so bright is to change the light color. You can go to a, maybe a slightly darker light. I like to make, make sure I'm in the yellow tones here when I do this because it's a little more natural. And click that one there. And so we, we've got a warmer light here. Let's go back to light number one, see if we can do about the same kind of thing here. Get into our yellow shades and then just a little bit over here. And it's a, it's a little, well, I see some of it still, but it's a little bit less intense. Maybe I need to make it a little bit more, a little on the darker side here. Okay, but you, you can adjust it by using intensity, radius, and color and location. But that's not too bad. And that, that's quite a different picture. Let me click on the eye to turn it to the normal picture. There's our normal shot with the shadows and everything. And I click here. And here is the one that we've just developed. So it's a real nice feature of using one or more lights, either omni lights or directional. I wouldn't recommend directional in most cases. And uh, Combine that to our, with our other exercise on using the spotlight. And you've got some nice features you can add in Adobe Premiere Elements 2018.